welcome guys to another Socratic seminar with Annalisa. We are at the Calgary Tower. In another video, I showed you a picture of the Calgary Tower and here we are at the very top in the observation area. When I was getting my undergraduate degree in English, I took a children's literature course and one of the required readings was Grimm's Fairy Tales. I was shocked to read how graphic and horrible nearly all of the stories were, and I wondered how enjoyable they had been for the children. Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm were German academics who were among the best-known storytellers of German and Scandinavian folk tales. Some of their best-known tales are Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, and Rumpelstiltskin. If you've never read the original versions of these stories, you'll definitely get a taste of what they're like when you read The Book of Lost Things. They are nothing like the Disney version that many of us have come to know and love. They're scary, to say the least. The Book of Lost Things is about a boy named David who experiences the terrible loss of his mother right at the start of the story. David struggles to accept this loss and is terribly upset when his father remarries a woman named Rose and they have a baby named Georgie. David loses himself in the books that he surrounds himself with and eventually finds that he has entered a world as mysterious as the stories that he has been reading. David finds himself on an incredible adventure fraught with danger as he struggles to deal with the emotions of fear, rage, resentment, loss, and love. Apart from the discussion of these feelings, other SEL themes to draw out are family, friends, courage, making decisions, values, perseverance, relationships, and sacrifice. The topics and imagery are definitely for a more mature young reader, especially if they have never read anything like the original Grimm's Fairy Tales. However, it's a wonderful tale, exciting and full of adventure, and I enjoyed it tremendously. As always, check out the links below for the Socratic Seminar blog and links to the Emoji Lesson Connections. Thanks and have a wonderful day.